On today's episode of Sense of Me 101, I'm going to be teaching you how to create a pattern wall while using a non-repetitive stencil. What I mean by this is in this look right here, I am using a stencil that just repeats and repeats and then you have a nice pattern wall on the end, but I'm going to be showing you how to use a stencil that does not use registration marks and to create your own unique wall pattern. Using this technique can give you endless amounts of possibilities. You want to begin by just choosing your stencil that you want to be repeating on your wall. You can choose one stencil or multiple stencils. Then I just pick a random spot on the wall to begin and then keep repeating that same stencil on the wall and space them out however you like. When creating these looks, you really have to think about the composition of your wall and as I place my some of my first stencils up, I make sure to take a step back and see where I would like to place my next stencil. When creating a look like this, I also enjoy using different size stencils and maybe even varying the color as well. For this specific medallion wall being shown, I started with my largest stencils and had those in the back and then kept layering up to my smallest size stencil. Using this layering effect can really give you a lot of depth. Creating a pattern like this also gives you so much range of how random you want your wall to look or how controlled you want your pattern to be. These kind of random pattern designs can feel a lot more airy than the repetitive pattern design. Each have Head such to lovely to qualities to them, it just depends on the look on that you're going for with your stencil art.